Hey guys, welcome to the 50th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the remove and the replace methods in the string class. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have that on your form, just double click on it. So, right here we have this string called sentence, and it's equal to hello, my name is Adam. Well, say we just want to remove this hello and the comma. Well, to do that, we're going to be using the um, remove method. So to, first, we're just going to create a new string, and we're just going to call it after, I guess. And we'll set it equal to this string only with hello removed. So in order to do that, we're just going to use the remove method, like I said before. So we're just going to type sentence, which is the name of our string up here. And then we're going to use the dot operator to access the remove method and just do remove and as you can see just like the substring method there are uh, two different um, parameters you can use you can either have an int start index and that will just start at a point and then remove to the end or you can specify a start index and a count or how many it will remove so we're just going to have it remove hello here so we're going to have it start at zero and then the count since we don't want it to remove the entire sentence or the whole string we want it to just remove this hello, so we're going to have to count. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because we want it to remove this space as well. So we're going to put 7 here. And then we're just going to display this after um, string in a message box. Just to make sure that we did it correctly. Alright, so now when we debug you should just get a message box that says my name is Adam because it removed the hello, the comma, and the space following the comma. Yep, exactly what we wanted. Say we want to remove just Adam. Well, we can do that. You're just going to have to count all the way until you get to Adam. And the easiest way that I found to count is you just put your cursor at the beginning or wherever you want to start removing and just hold shift and then just hit um, on your arrow key to the right, so then you can just count how many times you hit the arrow key. So just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18. So we're going to want to start removing at 18. So we're going to put 18 here. And then we want it to just remove to the end. We don't want to see the period. So we don't need the second one. So now we'll just start removing here and it will just remove the rest of the string. So now, we should just get a message box that says, hello, my name is, and then nothing. Yep, exactly what we wanted. Or if you wanted to remove this space right here, we started removing here. If you want to remove this space, you could just put 17 there, and it would remove the space as well. You can't really tell, but it did. So that's it for the remove method. We're now going to be looking at the replace method. So say we want to replace this hello with hi. Well, in order to do that, we're just going to want to use the replace method. So we're just going to do replace. And in here, you can put, there are two things you can put. You can put either a character, like replace a character with another character, or replace a string with a different string. And if we wanted to replace hello with hi, we'd be replacing one string with another string. So the old one is going to come first, so the one that we want to replace, we want to replace hello with something. And then the second parameter is what you want to replace it with, and we want to replace it with hi. So we're just going to put hi there. So now what it will do is it will replace hello with hi. So we should get a message box that says hi, comma, my name is Adam. Yep. And you can also do this with characters. For example, if you wanted to replace all of the A's with the letter 1. Well, in order to represent a character in C-sharp, you just do a single uh, quote. And then we're just going to put a character in here. We wanted to replace a lowercase a with mm, a b. Actually, no, something we can tell more. Um, a 0. So we're going to replace the letter A with a zero. So instead of it saying name with an A, it should say gnome with a zero. And it should say Adam instead of Adam. 
Yep, it replaced all the A's with a zero. And remember, it place, replaces all instances of this character. And same thing with the string. So if we were to have two hellos right here, and then we replaced um, hello with hi, I will replace all instances of hello with hi. So it will replace this hello and this hello. So again, just debug here, we should get hi, comma, my name is Adam, and then hi. Yep, it just replaces all the instances of it, and that's very important. So that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. So see you guys.